<clears throat> um, shout out to the Burger Car clan chat. And uh, congrats, Tyler, on Baby Lar. Baby Lar. Congrats, Tyler, on Baby Lar. Finishing up. 99 fishing here. 500k left. Gonna be moving on to fire making. Fucking thieving. Uh, getting farming started. And then doing farm runs and birdhouse runs in between rooftop agility. You already fucking know. That's where the progress is gonna be at. I don't know if that was my original plan, but I thought a lot about it. So that's what we're doing. Might make some uh, my toe videos on my main account. Uh, maybe some tutorials or something like that. Something more educational. Provide something besides my fun Swit account. You may notice my outfit looks horrendous. Uh, I've stored most of my stuff in POH. Excited to get zero time 70 construction as well as 99 fire making. Uh, I'm not looking forward to doloing though as I didn't have a lot of fun with that at all, but maybe I'll get into a flow of it since I know it's the next move correct or the next correct move rather than just doing it as a tangential activity. Uh, I was thinking about AFKing woodcutting and fletching and another reworking woodcutting, which will be fucking sick because you could probably AFK longer by what I'm guessing. That's what I hope they're adding. I don't know. And then uh, I think I'm going to do some splashing too because magic is pretty sick. I may only splash to 55, sort of what the plan is going to be. Didn't even plan to record until uh, we're giving a shout out to Sari and the Burger Car Clan. I don't even know who these people are. I was just fishing one day and then like 20 UIMs walked over and someone was getting 200 mil, I'm pretty sure. And uh, ever since that, I joined up with them. Probably showed it in another clip. I did get a rune pouch uh, via ripping kids in half. It only took me like two hours. It's actually really fun. Everyone sucks because uh, I think they're all doing the new PvP mini games. But we're finishing this up here. I may just turn this into a ramble video right right now. Why not? What are we gonna ramble about? Let's talk about the motivation between playing this Ultimate Iron Man and playing my main. So, I made an Ultimate Iron Man previously and got 99 fishing on it and then about 82 agility that I was playing on. And then I said, man, I got this account so far, but I want to play normal Iron Man mode. What a mistake, ladies and gentlemen. I de-ironed to Iron Man mode, died three times in a row on Fire Cape, got some other stuff done too. It was kind of nice to put all the stuff in the bank and have it be like a transition period. And then... I made it a Rune Dragon alt, so I de-earned it even further into a main account. Trained it up, got Fire Cape, and now I've been using it as a Rune Dragon alt. When I play, if you don't know what a Rune Dragon alt is, you skill on your main and you kill Rune Dragons on your alt in order to afford viables zero time. Isn't that crazy? But I kind of got burnt out just bonding, rebonding the alt, making like only like... 10 mil profit per playthrough because <laughs> of the cost of the bond or something like that. But it's so fun to just have multiple accounts running. Like, I can't really see myself doing it throughout the day. So uh, what's going on now is that... Hold on. Let me switch the scene here. Uh, maybe not. I'm like, hmm, why am I playing all these alts? This is kind of annoying. I wish I could have just never made an alt and then made a rule where you open Pandora's box, you know, and it's like, oh, uh, once you alt, you can't say you've never played alts before because it's benefited you. So that's kind of the downside there. I also don't mind alting because uh, hunting black chins is fucking horrible and it takes effort and uh, I don't know. I don't like um, vampire agility course. Uh, I also don't know how to do it because I think Artie is just way too fun. 
but yeah, that's why I like playing alts. Uh, so then I got kind of bored of that and decided we, I just want to play on one character and have, that's all I want to worry about. And it's like, oh my God, that's so weird. I remember playing on the Iron Man, which I don't remember the name of the accountant's name is Mito three. Now you can look it up on the, on the thing. I was playing that and I was like, wow, I've never put in so many hours on something like on this game. I was like, that's really weird. I felt really motivated when I was Ultimate Iron Man. So I was like, dude, I'm just going to freaking make one on free to play, start playing it in between uh, skilling on the main. I was killing like two rune drag alts while skilling on my main and playing this free to play thing, just like cutting logs and stuff. And then it's like, wow, I could, I could just be AFKing in Ultimate Iron Man this whole time while I play other accounts. Like, why not? And then it's like, oh my god, I've already done this 99 fishing on another UIM. That's not even that hard. You don't even have to pay that much attention to it. So then I just fucking started doing it again. This is this be the second time I've gotten 99 fishing on Ultimate Iron Man. Um, I do want to max on the account for sure. Um, it's just hard being able to transition in and out of skills whenever I want to because of the... Uh, how the game mode works, but I don't know. I found a lot of motivation, but I did burn out of ultimate iron man at a similar time where you get 99 fishing. And then it's like, wow, nothing beats five tick fishing. Like during the day, it's so easy. And then I would just burn out. I had like similar stats to when I uh, wanted to de iron it or uh, make it a normal iron man. So it's kind of whack. Um, but I, I put in, like I said, I put in more hours playing this than anything. So I don't know if you guys have felt a similar way with an Iron Man or something like that. But normal Iron Man mode is just not for me. I got two like medium accounts. I think I got Barrow's gloves on on the Iron Man. I think so. Almost certain I did. Maybe not. Did not get Fire Cape on it though. Because I died to healers like an idiot. Because I'm not really good at doing a fire cape and not good at managing my prayer at all. So that happened. But now this time, I want to incorporate all aspects. That's why I've been doing clue scrolls in between. That's why I, how I got the slippers on. That's how I got the headband. The gothic cape is gone. But I don't know. I've been enjoying uh, doing clue scrolls. And I want to incorporate PVM into this, kind of. But at the same time, it just seems uh, tangential to maxing. I mean, I could theoretically just go on a spree. If I'm at like 80 Slayer and I'm about to do the rest of Slayer, I might, I might as well just like get some uh, best in slot crap, assuming I can even do it. I haven't even done a solo raid before i haven't done tob ever you know i don't pvm at all pk or and the skiller and that's really it <laughs> so also with pk i haven't really gone out with any risk ever which is kind of dumb but i feel like i could do it now but there's just so much i don't know and i feel like i would have lost time if i lost gp because the association being a skiller so it's kind of hard to you know, justify uh, doing any of that stuff. It's so another thing. I don't really like making money in this game. Um, like I said, I burned out playing, you know, the Rune Dragon Alts and stuff like that. And I don't like the other money making methods for the most part. It just requires to like pl put in a lot of time and it's not efficient for me or cost effective for me to play two alts that are both bonded, if that makes sense. Because it has a higher production cost, which means you have to put in more hours in order for it to pay off. And since it's a constant moneymaker rather than RNG moneymaker, it's directly correlated to time. So losing any bit of GP to me sort of feels like, uh, like I lost time or something like that. Even though I did get Ranger Boots on, uh, on the main doing mediums for fun. So I got pretty lucky there, but so another thing I want to talk about. I've never really been um, 
like interested in anything RNG related. I've never really involved myself in anything RNG related. Uh, maybe it's because I don't really have like in-game friends that are obsessed. Like all my in-game friends are like on my other account. <laughs> I don't even, they're all on my Mito account and I don't really, uh, you know, play on that guy too much anymore. Even though I am right now, which is kind of whack. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, just making money. I just would love the idea of getting a PVM drop on an Iron Man. Ultimate Iron Man of all things, because uh, it would just feel like I earned, you know, I earned something and I did it the hard way or did it the legit way if you want to view it that way. I mean, you can view the game however you want. If you think Iron Man is the made, the way the game's made to be played, then I guess you can say that. I, I personally disagree with that just because it's an MMO and players are meant to interact. But it's good that the game is possible to do without trading. I think that's a really unique aspect because, I mean, with the exception of raids, other games are typically all PvE focused or PVM focused. So you'd be interacting with people no matter what, even though they have that in old school with raids, being able to split, even though if you're Iron Man. Um, I forgot where I was going with that. Just the idea of making money wasn't that fun. So I wanted to maybe explore getting drops on something like this, or just the fact that the EHP is more fun personally no no use of alts for the most part except for cooking ehp which is uh by karambans and uh light a fire on your main i guess that's like using an alt winter tots using an alt i guess as well um it's sad but i mean i don't have a problem with it if i didn't like it i wouldn't do it but to be honest uh I hate Winter Tot so much, so I don't know. I don't really see an issue with uh, using your main to assist with stuff. With Slayer, I think it's kind of stupid, but it's also inevitable, or uh, not inevitable, rather unfixable, unless you do some something that also gets rid of alting, or if you apply it to Iron Man or something. I don't really trust them to do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, they would fucking integrate that shit the wrong way somehow. Uh, holy crap, I'm like losing my voice. Yeah, I wasn't even planning on making this video, but someone said add something. I'm like, oh, I'll just hit record. And it's like, holy crap, I feel like talking about so much crap because I haven't, you know, ever explained my thought process or play style or anything like that. I haven't even showed the main on there. The main is the same as the uh, YouTube handle. So, um, but I don't know. I've, I've had a lot of fun making these, uh, making these vids. I don't know why. Uh, I think it just incorporates every aspect of what I like to do being like voiceover and crap like that. But, um, if I ever want to actually try, I would have to deliver on something. And right now I'm kind of just posting what I want. And that's really all I care about, to be honest, right now. Maybe later you'll see that I put an effort, but I don't know. I can't really play this game for more than like two hours, like act it proactively. <laughs> and uh, it's probably because all I do is this, which people hate doing, but. I don't know. If you see me hop on a boss, I get burnt out even quicker. With doing Vorkath on the alt, like it's intense, but it just burns me out. Like it doesn't feel like I'm progressing or it feels like I'm like living life on manual mode or something whack. Yeah. But um it would be fun to have this as a main account, you know. And uh have the ability to be motivated with the UAM play style. Um, Cause I love skills like fishing, thieving, agility. And those are all like non-bank, 
needing skills, if that makes sense. Um, so I have no problem doing stuff like that. I really am interested in what Slayer is going to be like. I think I'm going to do it last, though, unfortunately. Or maybe I'll do Slayer and then... like, or, Well, Herbalor is realistically probably going to be last. Unless I go like level 3 skiller mode and just do like post-99 already, already rooftop while doing farm runs or something like that. That'll be kind of whack. But, uh, or just like some insane, like Artie Knights account with like 110 thieving, <laughs> something whack like that. And just stock up on seeds, do master farmers and crap, uh, farm it up that way. But I mean, I honestly might even do that. Uh, who knows? But something I really hate in this game is farming, especially on Iron Man. I hate it on main. It feels like a chore. Uh, it's still fun. I'm like 50 mil on the main, 53 mil. It's fun to do on a main because it's really just a cost association. And then another thing that demotiv me, demotivated me from playing Iron Man, regular Iron Man, is the birdhouse runs. Because I just don't like dailies at all. That's something that turned me off of RS3 as well. I don't like doing dailies or hourlies or whatever. And birdhouse runs are like even more um even more frequent so me personally i'm gonna do drift net to 200 mil hunter on the main if i decide to play it uh i wish you could do drift net on iron man that shit would be fun uh but you can't because you have to employ like the uh botters to make the uh nets for the drift net fishing that's why they're like 2.5k each if you ever see someone doing that swimming thing underwater each net's 2.5k. You're essentially paying for like hunter and fishing EHP, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I just chill with the fucking Hexus guys that aren't here right now, of course. But uh, like Cloudy and Rhino, and these two guys are pretty funny. Sort of just met him. This guy's name is RWT Rebuild, which I think is hilarious. Sold two third age pigs, <laughs> just fucking hilarious. Uh, this is me telling about the YouTube channel. This guy, these are like my fans, kind of. This Azarth guy he talks about Swid every time he sees me. And uh, then Sorry keeps saying Swid. Swid funny RSN. <laughs> I don't even see that. That's pretty funny. But seriously, the congrats, Tyler and Babylar. And um, yeah, so it'll, it'll be fun playing... Uh, the UIM playstyle, staying motivated and stuff like that. Part of me wants to just make, like, go in the wilderness and just do ridiculous crap. Like, ridiculously risky crap for no reason at all. I just feel like that would be really funny. But at the same time, I kind of want to play it like I play it. Because that's just how I play. And I don't know. I was also thinking about doing some, like, desert only crap or like wilderness only bronze mode or whatever the heck because i've been doing lms and i really like lms and i think i'm about mid-level for the most part in skill i'm brand new to pking but i kind of want to take it to the next level and learn how to do all that wildy stuff but i don't know like, it just seems so stressful. Like, I used to be into really stressful games like League and, and uh, you know, StarCraft, anything competitive, Overwatch, just getting top 1% and all those. And it just stresses you out. Like, by clicking the ranked button, you're, like, accepting that. You're, like, diving into the unknown. And you can know if... Or you're going to know if that you're going to be stressed no matter what. Which I think is... It's kind of hard to to over uh overwork that mental block it's preventing you from doing that stuff but yeah i'm gonna try an afk wood cutting fletching just wood cutting and then fletching the logs but i know you get zero time from fire making and zero time for uh construction so i don't know i also forgot to do mahogany homes to 48 i was 46 and wanted toy box so i just freaking built oak larders like an idiot 
instead of uh, going in. But yeah, I'm going to be doing clues on here. Um, part of me wants to just start Slayer, start like mass questing. So I think while I'm doing 99 agility and just getting farming hunter, farming and hunter up, or at least started on them, I feel like it would be really good. It's because agility doesn't take any inventory space. <laughs> um, the only thing that changed from the plan that I didn't understand was uh, thieving needing to be at 99 with cape in order to be successful on Master Farmers 100% of the time. Uh, it's either that or 94 and already hard, which I don't really think I'm going to get early on because I want to do these three skills early on. Um, I didn't have to do that crap. That's kind of whack. Um, what if there was an account where it's one ninety nine one row at a time? How whack would that be? A main account getting ninety nines in a row. That's so wacko. Could you even do that? Well, if it's getting ninety nines, I guess. But if you need to keep everything else level one. <laughs> Except for hit points, I guess. Well, then you'd have to do the middle row first if you're keeping it. Huh? You would. You'd be. You wouldn't even get to choose. You would have to do the middle row, and you'd have to do. Oh, I guess that's easy on a level three. Yeah, that'd be a whack ass account. All the fucking gatherers over here. Well, you couldn't do Slayer, so. <laughs> oh my god. So you'd have to do this row first. Yeah, you couldn't. You couldn't train Slayer to 99. So you'd have to start on the first row. Mining, smithing, fishing, cooking, woodcutting, fire making. These all like go together. These two. These two, these two, and these two. And then farming counts as all of them. It's kind of whack. Yeah, if you're doing a one row at a time, you'd have to do this row, third row, then first row. I know you couldn't because you'd get Slayer if it was all level one. Hmm. I don't even think it's possible then. If you're keeping it at level one. Unless you disregard hit points. Or no, you would have to do like... I don't think you can... Oh, you can. No. You can't train defense without getting hit points. Right? Would it be possible? You do this row. This column, rather. Then would you do this one? But you would get hit points levels. I guess that would have to be the exception. But what if it's this? Then you'd have to get 99 Slayer with level 1 stats. It's not even possible anymore. Unless they had that poison crap, but I don't even think a level three has 99 Slayer even. So it's got a lamp. It. I was a level three once in a once upon a fucking time. Yeah, that's about it. I got for this video. So it's my first ramble ever. I'm high as fuck. So maybe it was boring. Maybe it wasn't. Who knows? All right, guys. See ya. I'm gonna be finished the next video. 99 fishing. Gonna be doing probably loot boxes from Winter Tot, like every fucking Iron Man video. Uh, also, probably throw in some PK clips on the way to the rune pouch. Maybe I'll just throw in some more of those in general. Um, might start splashing a 55. Fucking like Alcarin arrows. All right. See you guys.